We won't be lonely this Christmas. Beautiful sentiment. Don't worry, my loves. We won't be lonely this year for Christmas. Man, this is just, let's just talk about for a second how hard of a time this is for folks. Um, this, uh, and I think somebody mentioned a quote earlier that taught, that said, Jason Isabel said, this is like the time that people go off the deep end every year. Uh, what, what about this time of year is hard for you? For me personally? Yeah. Um, or do you find uh, that this is a hard time? So I would say that I probably suffer from a little bit of seasonal affective disorder that that's not as obvious. And that would be the thing of like when the days become shorter, it um, affects people's mental health. That's this is a very simplified version of it. But as the days become shorter and it becomes darker and things kind of close in on us a bit um, towards the end of the year and the beginning of the year, a lot of people feel their mental health like follow that. So I had a little bit of that. I used to work in Christmas in in retail and Christmas was uh, it, that really like zapped any sort of um, like magic out of Christmas. Christmas became about really became about my one time of year to make as much money as I possibly could. As fast as I could move, I could make that much money. And then like, um, you know, later in life. Uh, already being kind of like, well, for my birthday at the end of November through New Year, I, not through the New Year, I'm always kind of depressed, and it's a uh, it's a weird thing. And then um, add to it that over the past couple of years, I've had a lot of uh, fallout with family members, and some of it very dramatic to the degree the degree that um, I don't go home with my family for Christmas. Um, I have a lot of people here i think of like four different families who have tried to to bring me into their christmas and and give me as much like christmas and home and love as they can but just because of where the things are with my family and and realistically where they might always be um that's not a thing for me right now maybe in the future it'll be different but it's not a thing for me right now so Sometimes the hard part is um, not having uh, that to go to for Christmas. Yeah. And then sometimes the hard part is being reminded that it's Christmas and I don't have that. So I personally, when getting invited to people's holiday things, I weigh whether I just want to go and have a open hearted like Christmas experience with some people and be grateful for that and experience that as much as I can. Or if I just want it to be Saturday and I change my oil instead, like that's kind of where I am with Christmas, but I love like this weekend I'm exhausted still this weekend was full of Christmas parties for my friends. And I go and I just like express all of the Christmas that's in my heart at those times. Uh, so I get plenty of like Christmas cheer and festive stuff. But it, there's also, I'm also aware of that sense of loss, you know. A lot of people are being, throwing a lot of love your way. Um, Thanks, y'all. Certain people are saying, I feel like you're telling my story. Uh, yeah, and it's it's weird because for me, this doesn't, as a teacher, most teachers really look forward to Christmas break because this is like one of the big breaks of the year. Um and so work-wise, like, I'm counting down the days for this time of year to be able to have some time off. Um, and I I guess I've just never really had the major family stuff that you're talking about. And I've never really had – I've never experienced, like, a huge loss to me. Um, I've had family members pass away, but nobody I've ever been, like, really close to. And so, like, I don't even want to imagine how I'm going to feel at Christmas, like when my grandparents are gone or when my grandmother's gone or something like that. Because right, right, Christmas is, is such a pivotal time for my family, and I, I've just been very lucky to never have any major losses to to deal with up until this point. Mm -hmm. um, but y'all, let us know in the comments what what's hard for you personally in this time of year. Um, 
Uh, Cody's got a, a good a good statement here from a perspective that's different than both of ours. Uh, Christmas is a weird time. I like Christmas, but wife's family's all divorced and remarried, so we have a million stops. It stresses her out to have to go so many places and hear them talk about family, even though so many of them could never practice what they preach. And that's hard, too, man. Just like sometimes just being around the family is the hard part, you know, and whew, no doubt about that. Yeah, no about that. It, that's, that's why bars are still open on Christmas night. Yeah, it can be one of the most hypocritical places in the world, right? Um, so much talk about family and love. And and I feel like we've grown up in Mississippi to where like family is so important. And it's almost like just overlook these glaring issues that we have as a family because we're just supposed to be together and you're always supposed to love family. And it, it's sometimes like some of my family members, I don't want to have anything to do with. And that's also mm -hmm. okay. So it, yeah, family can be a very hypocritical place sometimes. And and I do want to say this, like a lot of, a lot of people I think feel like, I'm so the sorry world to hear is, that, Jeffrey Jones. That's ugh, breaks my heart. Mm, that is difficult. Um, I cannot imagine. There's no words for that. Mm. I think a lot of us are worried that there's a lot of division in the world right now, and that division like shows up in our families. But like, watch Christmas Vacation. Like, there was always a cousin Eddie who's like intolerable. There was always somebody who got on their soapbox. I'm kind of the guy in my family who gets on the soapbox, by the way. Um, but yeah, you know, it's like we should remember that like family's always been difficult. It's not just crazy times. Yeah. Family's always been tough. We got a lot of good comments. I'd love to go. So through. many good comments. Key says, uh, cyber cowboy says family changes make such an impact. Second Christmas without my mom, either grandmothers and my dad just moved to PA with his new wife. So, um, I think that like, that's a big thing that I feel too, like the changing of the guard where it's not, the Christmas was not about the people who provided it for you. Suddenly Christmas is about the people that you're providing for and those splinter off and go in different directions. And, and then we begin to lose those people that, that provided that for us. So Lapaz says he's got eight different family groups that, demand that he spends time eight man god that is so tough lord yeah Woo. um bruzy says jesus bruzy i didn't know this lost my mom and dad this year so that's really what hurts about christmas this year for me cancer is scary cancer is scary man and, and i don't want to be that guy, but there is a member in our Discord who's uh having some major family issues right now. Um, so y'all keep folks in your prayers, Bruzy. I'm so hardy, so sorry to hear that, man. That is terrible. Whew. Um, Smitty says the commercialization of Christmas drives me up the wall. Seeing kids from lower income families have to do without breaks my heart, man. If I can make sure every kid in the world could have a smile on their face Christmas morning, I could die happy. Seeing kids who have to go without breaks me. It is, it is tough. It's tough to see those kids um, have to feel their value um, dictated by the fact on whether or not their parents are going to pay for to keep the heat on or buy them a, a gift for Christmas. You know, yeah, that's rough. That is unimaginably rough for sure. Chad says this will be my kid's first Christmas without his mom, and I guess sometimes I lose sight of how that might stress him out when it comes to broken families. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yeah, thinking yeah, about it from tough, a man. parent's perspective, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, there's just so much heaviness going around this time. Like, all, all of these things we've talked about, whether it's loss or whether it's uh, divorced parents or whether it's separated families or whether mm -hmm. it's just... Uh, uh, Minger says my pops was uh, in a COVID coma last Christmas and it's nice that he's awake for Christmas. Lord have mercy. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys are sharing your Christmas stories. I'm glad to hear a good 
ending to a COVID story in Mean Girls. I think that it's like um, that time of year where we celebrate. Uh, here's to Pops being around for Christmas. Yes. Season. Cheers. Cheers to the people that are with us. And you know what? It's my kitchen, so I'll pour some out on the floor for the people that aren't. Come on now.